you had years of uh, programming. You had years of subconscious programming. Um, and of course, <laughs> we only have about 15 minutes left in this podcast. So this would be a, this would be a um, six month question uh, compacted uh, in, uh, from the 30,000 foot view, I guess we could say. But how, what do you do? What, what does someone do to go through the process of transforming and changing the way you think about yourself? Yeah, it's, um, it's not easy, Jay, but it's simple. And it's, it's just what I mentioned before. It's, it's sitting down with someone who can have a compassionate conversation with you to figure out where in your childhood you struggled and where you felt like you didn't have control or you had stress or trauma and then figuring out what stories you told yourself and then reprogramming those stories so that you literally through neuro-linguistic programming, which is really just reading or listening, or um, what I did is I recorded it and I just listened to it every morning over and over again, where I said, these are the truths and your brain can actually grow new neural pathways. And, you know, I, I, I've said this in, in uh, countless times, there's, there's, there's probably two or three really keys to, keys to happiness. One is living in truth. If, if you're suffering, you're not living in truth. And what is the truth? The truth is you are enough. You, you, you're, you're a good person. Your core, your essence is solid. It's just, you've been put through these terrible things as a child that created you to think differently about yourself. So living in the truth is one thing and then being present, like don't let imagination and memory, imagination, looking forward, memory, looking backward. Don't let that rob your, your, your peace because heaven on earth is right now, right here if we just stay present. But what we as human beings like to do is use, use imagination and memory in a bad way. So we think about all the bad things that happened to us and then we imagine the bad things that could happen going forward. What if we used imagination to think about all the good things that could happen? And what about if we, we, we took from our memory all the good things that did happen? But we don't do that. We often do it. We spend too much time in the, in the past and the future and we don't live in the truth. And when we do go into the past or the future, it's usually negative stories of what can go wrong or what did I do wrong before? Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, I can't remember which way it goes. Um, a friend of mine years ago said they, they talked about worry and an anxiety. And they said both worry and anxiety come from not living in the present, just like you just said. But it was either worry was worrying about what was going to happen that probably is not going to happen and anxiety is still living in the past and being anxious about that or one way or the other Absolutely. i like the way you i like the way you said it better imagination i know hasn't happened yet and memories i know has already happened so that that helps me keep it straight